So as you can see, it has found the file and it is a bash DC17 ECU. We click on the ECU and accept the driver. And that's it. And as you can see, there are a bunch of tables here. The engine torque, which conclude the torque tables and the limiters and the injection system, which are the injection time and injection timing and the fuel quantity injected tables plus smoke limitation and the turbo system and rail pressure. So first of all, uh, as you can see, there is no torque request table on this ECU file. So we only go for the limiters and there is no need to touch this table. So. To be honest, as long as we have torque tables, we have a limiter for them. But as you can see in this ECU file, we don't have any torque table except torque during cranking that we don't have to deal with that for generating more power. We can only remap the limiter of maximum torque tables. In diesel engines, torque is controlled by fuel. So the amount of fuel must be controlled in order to control the torque of the engine. As a result, some maps are defined to control engine torque, which are the limiters. If the driver requests the wide open throttle mode in high engine speed, the maximum torque of the engine and, and fuel injection must be done. But for precise engine control and engine safety at high revs, the torque value is reduced according to this table. And you can see the engine RPM variables in the y-axis. So we can go to the next table, which is which is injection timing. Actually, there is not much to say about this table, but if you are curious, this table is based on top dead center and the difference between the injection timing and the injection timetable is that the injection time is about the duration, but 